Hi, it's Will from StormTheCastle.com. And here on YouTube, you know me as Epic Fantasy, and this is my latest tutorial. This is how to make a PVC catapult. A small one. Tabletop sized. Right? PVC, if you don't know, is a plastic pipe. Plumbers use it. Cheap, easy to cut with a hacksaw and any kind of saw. And all these little fittings on here, you buy these right off the shelf, you know, like 35 cents. You know, and in this video, I'll put this all together, show you how to do it exactly step by step, and I'll give you the parts list so you can buy these little parts if you want to make a little PVC catapult too. It's fun and powerful. Make it more powerful by adding more rubber bands. All right, so um, you don't have to glue this together, but if you do glue the various pieces together, you glue everything, all those joints, except for these in here, because then otherwise it won't, it won't rotate and it won't shoot. So don't glue those uh, four joints uh, there. So let's get started and take a look at the parts. All right, so here you go, here's everything. Um, we're using PVC, half inch PVC pipe. I'll show you here, it says it right on it. It's just plastic pipe, easy to cut. You can get it at a Home Depot. And we cut it into various lengths. First we do a 14 inch piece. Then we do two 9 inch pieces. Seven 6 inch pieces. Two 3 inch pieces. And two 2.5 two inch pieces. And these are half inch tees, and there's no threads in them. And when you're pick plucking these out of the bins, make sure there's no threads inside those, because that's a little bit of a different type. And f five of those, and then six elbows, the same thing, no t no threads. Now this, this is a male coupler. This one has threads on it, and it is optional. That's how we make the, the little basket that throws our projectile. That's called a male coupler for a half inch PVC. And this is a, reducer, a 90 degree angle reducer. It takes the male coupler of a regular half inch PVC and it changes it at 90 degrees to a larger one. And I just use that because it's kind of like a neat little basket. So that's the trickiest part of this whole thing. But a male coupler and a 90 degree reducer. And that's the only stuff that's threaded, those two pieces. So uh, that's, uh, that's all the parts and also if you're there buying stuff, you might want to buy the PVC cement. It is optional, but it's specifically made and it really works very strong. It, it glues this stuff together very well. So let's get started. We got our 14 inch piece. You put your male coupler on it. And then you put your 90 degree angle reducer on that. And there we go. You can see how that's the throwing arm and the little basket for our projectile. And now the other end. Put a T on it. Oh, and don't glue this all the first time around. Just assemble it together so you understand how it goes and you get it right before you glue it. Because once you glue it, you can't undo it. <laughs> all right, so you put a T on it. Then you take your two pieces that are two and a half inches. Put those on. And that's the swing arm. So now let's make the base and all the rest of the stuff. Our two nine inch pieces. Put an elbow, 90 degree elbow on them. And now we'll start on our six inch pieces. Take a six inch piece, put it there. Watch how fast this is gonna go together. I mean, it's an easy project to do. If you get a science project, you gotta make, and this is a pretty good one. Then you put a T, a T another T, Six inch piece, six inch piece, six inch piece, an elbow, an elbow, put those on, three inch pieces, pieces, a 
And with the pair of T's, we connect the throw arm like this. See, so you build the whole thing first, you get a good sense for it, don't glue anything. Because you're going to tinker with it, you're going to you know, get a feel for how it goes and where the different parts. And you, could, you don't even, even need to glue this thing, it all holds together pretty well. Um, six inch piece, six inch piece, and we finish it off. That's that, how long did that take, five minutes? elbow and elbow and put them on there and the catapult is assembled and watch this do I hammer this you can hammer it you can bang it on the table whatnot see and now we want that to be freewheeling you could always sand those those um, down a little bit to make them nice and smooth then we add the rubber bands for our power you know add as many as you want add multiple ones you can, you know, it's, there's no set rule for that. But I have some nice big rubber bands that I like, and there you go. The catapult is technically done. So like I said, you know, I have a whole lot of catapult stuff. Um, I have trebuchet stuff. Um, I, I, I got all, all the siege engines you probably could want, including a 10 foot trebuchet that shoots boulders. Right here on my uh, YouTube channel and on my website, it's normthecastle.com. Look for the playlist for um, siege engines. All, right, all of them, ones you can make out of cardboard and out of foam board and out of wood. But here, I just wanted to show you the gluing a little bit. The stuff is really strong and it's not really a glue like we think of a glue as being like a, a something that kind of holds things together this stuff actually melts the plastic the, the PVC it melts it so it makes a very strong bond but be careful when you're doing this you have to take your time because you could do it in a way that it, it binds up the catapult and, and, and then the throw arm is difficult to go so you have to be careful with the gluing of it I say you know assemble it all together without the glue just bang it and hammer it like that and get it nice and tight and it, it should be fine. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'm thinking about doing like a bigger one, like a floor model one, like three or four feet. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know if you think I should do that. Um, if I get enough people interested, I'll make one, a large one like that. It, it would be a fun project.